up guys thanks for tuning in uh, we are almost to Shackamack State Park just outside uh, Jasonville Indiana so continue our journey north uh, through Indiana we're going to end up ultimately at Indiana Dunes uh, State Park on the north side of Indiana but that's a long way from where we were down at Sycamore Springs to there so uh, we're going to stop here at Shackamack State Park just about there so we're looking forward to it It's pretty nice setup right here on the corner. So it's a pull through, but it's like a corner pull through. But plenty of room here, even though the rows are not well marked with what sites are on which row. So, but not too hard to find. All right, so we're all set up here. Um, man, seems like a pretty nice park. We're yeah. really just kind of trying to have kind of a little low-key weekend here. Um, not not any big major plans. Our plan is we don't have a big plan. We're calling for some rain this afternoon, so we're hoping that holds off for a little while. We have to get dinner done anyway. Yes. But uh, and then we'll be loading up and uh, getting out of here tomorrow afternoon to head up to Indiana Dune State Park. So you know, we'll see what the day brings. Yep. Here's the entrance as you come into Indiana Dunes State Park. Uh, they do charge an entrance fee even if you're camping here. It's $7 for in-state residents and $12 for out-of-state. So when you're checking in, you'll come in, you'll pay your entry fee at this first, uh, at the first gate here. And then when you go back to the campground, there's a gate at the campground and they'll give you all your check-in information, maps, your uh, your site tag and all that stuff. If you take this roundabout and go straight around here, uh, it'll lead you right down to the beach area. So there's a beach area right, uh, parking area right at the beach. You can park, get out, you're right at the beach. Um, if you go this way that we're going now, it'll take you around to where uh, the campground is. Kind of another unique thing we ran into checking in here, we checked in on a Sunday. And on Sunday only, their check-in and check-out time is 5 o'clock. Uh, every other day it's 2 o'clock, but on Sunday, they give you that extra time so you don't have to technically check out until 5 o'clock. We got fortunate when we got here around 3 that uh, our site was empty. We could go ahead and check in. But there was quite a few vehicles uh, lined up at the dump station at like 4, 4.30. So they definitely take advantage of that later check-out time on Sundays. These sites are electric only, so they have a water station here so you can stop and fill up with water. Um, if you're coming here and you have a way to fill up before you get here, you might want to do that because the line to fill up with water yesterday was uh, pretty long. So we filled up before we left Shackamack State Park. Uh, after we dumped our tanks, I swung around, we went ahead and filled up. I'm glad we did that. But they seem to do a really good job with the campground. It's clean, uh, it's very well kept up. Uh, nice big wide paved sites, which is nice. They're a little bit sloped front to back, but as far as being level side to side, uh, they've been very level. It looks like they're all pretty level side to side. I don't see a lot of people using using blocks and having to, having to do anything crazy to get level. All right, so we, Left Shackamack State hey, Park, guys. nice state park. Not a whole lot really, we weren't really there to, to see a whole lot. It was more of kind of a stopping off point uh, on the way to Indiana Dunes State Park. And this place is really nice. Only about 50 miles from Chicago. So 
we're not going over there but it is only about 50 miles from Chicago so uh, we're out here this morning we are going to tackle the three dunes trail uh, it's a mile and a half loop takes you up over the three highest dune peaks uh, in the state park here so supposed to be some great views uh, supposed to be a pretty rugged hike so we're looking forward to the exercise looking forward to the views and uh, with some amazing weather it's yeah not, it's, yes I'm actually cold. What is it, about 60 of? degrees out? Yeah, it's like 60 right I haven't been, now. I probably haven't been cold since we went out to cover up. <laughs> yeah, so we got, we got beautiful yeah. weather to tackle it. Um, so we're going to give it a shot. We're going to knock this thing out. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. All right. So the trail starts right here behind the Nature Center, which is just a short, short walk from the campground. We didn't even have to drive over to it. We could just walk right to it. And this gives you the route. So we're going to start here and we're going to go all the way around over these three dunes and back. All right, so we're down here at the start of the trail. Basically, we're going to take trail eight, loop it all the way around over all the dunes, and then back to trail four, which will lead us back to the nature center. I think we found our first hill, Dylan. What? I think we found our first dune. Oh, oh me. Oh yeah, I think that's it up there. It's pretty steep. I don't know. Only way to find oh, out, oh, right? Nice. Let's do it. Yeah. This is definitely a little different type of workout, for sure. Doing good, man. Oh, See the top, Dylan. What? See the top. Oh, don't go backwards. That's a long way to start over. <laughs> yeah. Dune one, Mount Jackson, 176 feet. feet of and three hundred maximum slope angle, 176 feet above Lake Michigan. 31 degrees. Huh. 31 yeah. degree incline. That's one summit. We continue up down trail eight. Head towards summit number two. All right, so Dylan's leading us the way up the second dune. I don't know. This one looks a little steeper. And we're coming. You're chugging up it like a champ. This one's definitely a bit more challenging. Um, and uh, I don't know if a lot of people go up that first dune and then turn around, but it definitely seemed a little more packed down than the second one. The sand's a lot more loose, making it definitely more challenging to get up to the top. Dylan's knocking it out. So we can see the top. It's right there. Ooh. We made it. So you can go all the way over this dune if you want and go all the way down to the shore of Lake Michigan. The actual summit is up here. So let's go check that out. And there's technically the peak of the Mount Holden dune. 184 feet above Lake Michigan. This one, 38 degree angle, so it is a bit more steep than the last one that we went up, the first dune, but uh, man, the view once you get up here is pretty awesome, looking out across Lake Michigan. Alright, so on to our third and final summit, it's the steepest and the tallest one, so we're going to Head right on down this trail through the trees down here. Start working our way that way. But yeah, definitely uh, the walk down is is almost as challenging as coming up. Uh, going down steep sand dunes is a little different. But it's been super awesome so far. Can't wait to get to that, uh, to that third summit. Alright, so as you come off the second dune, here's trail number seven. 
which shoots off that way. That'll take you back to the nature center, back to where you started. But, man, I don't know why you would go through all the struggle of going up those first two if you're not going to tackle the last one. So, as you come off of the second dune, you have a little trail that shoots off down to the shore of Lake Michigan. And then you can start the climb up your third and final dune. Dylan's pretty excited. He's hoping we can get a view of Chicago skyline across there. Pretty excited to see if we can see Chicago. Yeah. And I also have an Indiana Jones video on my channel down from Florida. Yep. Dylan's, Dylan's documenting his Three Dunes challenge as well on his channel. So <laughs> make sure to slide over there and uh, get his perspective on this hike. It's been great so far. Very, very neat. And we're ready to tackle that last dune. So at this point we've been exactly one mile on our one and a half mile trail. We just got bamboozled by that hill back there, <laughs> right? Did we get bamboozled? Uh -huh. Thought we were headed up our third, our third sand dune summit. Not even close, man. Um, but uh, we are on this beautiful path and We've been really lucky that um, there, we've only come across a couple other people on it, so it's not very many people out here at all. The morning is beautiful. and uh, Super unique hike. I mean, you've got this nice hike through the woods, okay. you know, but you have the sandy trail like you would find, you know, more on the beach. And you've got a lot of elevation change like you would find if you were, you know, closer to hiking mm -hmm. uh, in the, you know, in the mountains or something like that. Um, and you know, obviously it's only... Forest. Obviously, there's only a couple hundred feet of elevation change, but <laughs> a couple hundred feet through through that deep sand is is definitely um, definitely challenging for sure. So yeah, it's unlike any hike we've ever done before, and it's it's really awesome. Yep, hardest one too, though. I think when you get done, you know that, that feeling of accomplishment on this hike will be pretty awesome. So we've got a half mile left to go. Dylan's had one snack so far. We've already made a snack break, had some water, and we're ready to knock this thing out. Right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Man, I so. Oh, I forgot that we read something about steps. What? Now, now it's all coming back to me. <laughs> so as we approach steps? our third dune. Is it double We approach our, <laughs> our third dune. Um, I remember reading, we remember reading this now. So you don't climb up the sand on this one. They do you a solid, and they give you some steps. Uh. A lot of steps. <laughs> so, here we go. That's Our third step. dune, there's the trail eight. Trail eight ends with this fantastic stair climb to the top of this dune up here. So, at least it's not sand. I think sand would be better. I don't know. That'd be awfully steep to climb in the sand. I feel like we already did do something <laughs> like that. Let me see. All right, here we go up the stairs. What you think? Epic view at the top, maybe? Hopefully. Almost there. Epic views away, Dylan. Epic views away. And there it is, Mount Tom. Forty-three degree incline, one hundred ninety-two feet. Dude, we did it. We did it. I'm so proud of you. So we made it to the top, Mount Tom, and this kind of completes all the summits of the three dune challenge um, really really neat hike still got a little ways to go to get back uh, to the visitor or the to the nature center where we started but um, the view from up here definitely definitely worth the payoff what do you think Dylan is it worth the payoff I, I am a big fan of views I think they're whatever but that's a good view yeah really cool view um, like I said we didn't really know what to expect at this park um you know indiana dunes national park indiana dunes state park kind of 
are not combined but they back up to each other it's almost one big area so we're still not 100 percent sure how that's broken up exactly we're going to look at the maps a little more but we're going to take a ride uh, over to the indiana dunes national park visitor center which is located outside the park um, probably this afternoon and uh kind of see what that's all about but this hike was something that we happened to see on their brochure and the trail map that they give you and uh very 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 glad that we decided to tackle it i mean we weren't real sure whether to do it or not mile and a half up and down sandy dunes but you know the uniqueness of it um, and the challenge you know the different type of challenge it presents compared to a normal hike that we usually would do is pretty awesome uh, and you know like i said dylan's got a video of his his perspective on it he's gonna put on his channel um, i've got a little sneak peek of some of the footage and it's gonna be very very entertaining that's for sure but for now we're gonna take in this view get a little drink of water and uh then we'll start our trudge back down the uh back down the hill so we're starting our walk back around to where we started after coming off the boardwalk up there and this is a nice boardwalk that leads down off the top of that last dune back around to the nature center i think it's really nice that they put the boardwalk in it's a little reward for walking through that sand all that way and it's a little easier on the way yeah back. yeah it's kind of a nice uh a nice surprise when you get to that last that last uh, top of that dune to realize that you got a nice boardwalk to get back down you don't have to trudge through tons of sand but um we were actually in debate what to wear footwear wise on this hike uh, we read some try to do some reviews look at some reviews on it and it was really a mixed bag I mean uh, a lot of people said they just took flip-flops and hiked the dunes barefoot and just had the flip-flops for like the boardwalk on the way back some people said they hiked the whole thing barefoot. Some people said they wore hiking shoes, but didn't like all the sand they got. So I, we just kind of elected to go with our shoes um, because somebody did point out that it's not exactly just sand only. Um, there's some roots and things, and he said that their oh, big step said that their husband had things poking him in the foot on the hike. So. We elected to go with our hiking shoes, um, which I'm really glad we did. There are a lot of roots, acorns. Um, I mean, even going up the, even going up the actual dunes themselves, there's roots and sticks that stick up. So, uh, if you were to do a barefoot, I mean, unless you're pretty hardcore and don't mind getting jabbed in the foot with some things, it's probably not going to be a very comfortable walk. Uh, flip flops, flip flops are a no go for us too on that. And no, I don't want flip flops, you know, sand getting under the, the your flip flop there and uh, under the strap and rub it on the top of your foot that would probably not be very comfortable so as far as uh getting sand in our shoes we did get some in our shoes but we'd much rather deal with that than all the other nothing about this trail uh, very very well marked you're not going to get lost you're not going to lose your way extremely well marked trail and uh, i would suggest maybe getting out early we get out here what time do we get out here uh, i think about it was probably about 8 30 8 30. yeah so we hit the trail by 8 30 not many people at all just saw very few we're coming off the trail now about uh about 10 30 and it's getting much much busier getting a lot of seeing a lot more people come up the trail so early is better for sure all right so we finished up the trail and we thought it brought us back out by the nature center it actually brings us back out right to the campground so we're gonna finish the trail boom we're right back at our campground where we started so Awesome trail. Super cool that it finishes up right back at the campground. Trail four. There you go. So we come over to the visitor center over here and this gives you an idea how it this gives you an idea how it's broken up. Um, so all the green is the national park and this yellow in the center is the state park. So it's kind of a unique setup where the state park is surrounded by the national park. Deerwood Campground is the national park campground. We actually looked at that and it was no hookups at all. 
so we opted for the state park, which I'm pretty happy about. So we took a ride out to the visitor center and uh, the Indiana Dunes National Park Visitor Center, and that's where we showed. That's where I show you the map that kind of shows how it's broken up. But uh, then we decided to take a ride over to Dunewood Campground because we were considering. It was kind of a toss-up between this place and the state park. Um, obviously, the Dunewood Campground in the National Park was a little less expensive, but no hookups. Uh, we knew the weather was supposed to be pretty nice, so the hookups weren't a super big concern for us, but not nearly as nice. Um, that's your view right at the entrance and exit of the campground. And once we started driving over here, it's not really close to anything. Um, there's some beach accesses and things that you could drive to, but as far as being conveniently located, to the trails um, and having access to other beaches right from your campground um, definitely Indiana Dunes State Park I think would be the way to go for sure so once you complete the three dune challenge trail uh, you can go over to the visitor center and they will give you uh, everybody that completes it gets to pick up they give you a sticker saying you completed the, the, the challenge they have t-shirts that you can buy saying you completed the three dune challenge uh, so dylan picked up a picked up a t-shirt there and uh that's a pretty big accomplishment for him doing a hike like that and completing it so we let him pick out a t-shirt got our completion sticker for the trail yep and uh then we took a ride over here so yeah it's a, it's a junkyard right, right there another way kind of different thing to be right by a campground Definitely, definitely get, get, go to the state park. That day one campground wasn't the best. I mean, I, I would recommend you to stay away from that. All right, so yesterday morning when we were over by the Nature Center uh, getting ready to do the Three Dune Challenge, the Nature Center wasn't open yet. Um, we had to come back and get some work done afterwards, so we didn't have a chance to come back over. Uh, it opens up at 10 o'clock, so just shortly after 10, 10 o'clock now so we're gonna walk over here we're gonna check out the nature center look pretty cool from what we could see uh, online about it so we're gonna go over here and check that out before we get ready to pack it up and head out of Indiana Dunes State Park today So on this display they have some native reptiles of Indiana. A hog nose snake here. Rattlesnake. Alright, so we are headed out of Indiana Dunes State Park. Um, what a fantastic park this is. I mean, I don't really know what our expectations were coming in here, but um, I think just that in the back of our mind, knowing that it was close to Chicago, only about 50 miles from Chicago, you know, I don't know. Maybe we thought it wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't have that, yeah, that woodsy feel to it or be very peaceful. That couldn't be further from the truth. Um, it was very peaceful uh, it was very quiet the campground was pretty full but it was still uh, very peaceful and quiet out there the three dune challenge was awesome uh, we had such a great time doing that and uh, you know we really wish we would have had maybe a few more days because there's some more hikes that you can do that kind of take you down to the to the beach um, over some other dunes down to the beach so it would have been nice to have a few more days but uh we didn't who knew we didn't know so we uh, went ahead and packed it up and now we are on the road to another harvest host so we're trying to utilize harvest host a little bit more 
um, when we have some areas that we don't really want to stop in for multiple days uh, if we just need kind of an overnight stop we're going to try to use utilize uh, our harvest host membership a little bit more so we're on the way there and uh, that's it from Indiana Dune State Park we'll catch you guys down the road